Yo, what's up guys? It's James Sec here. So today I got a video for you, a version four now, I believe, of how to bypass this thing. Now, I mean, it's just ridiculous to have to do, you know, these amount of videos just to get past it. But, you know, Samsung's trying to get more secure and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not hating. But anyways, so here you need to go to samsung.com slash site sync and go ahead and do that. And then after you finish installing it, you want to minimize it. You're going to go to the Samsung Side Sync app. Open it. Just open it. And uh, after that, you can see it open. So hit close. And then when you go here, just make sure that it is open in the taskbar. So make sure it's showing right here. That's all you need. So after that, if you if this worked for you, then you know this will be good for you. Anyways, uh. If this didn't work for you, I have other versions, so you can go ahead and try that. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first, we're going to hit next. And then you might have to wait for this so you can take out the SIM card, whatever you want to do. Just go ahead and wait for this then. All right, so what I did was I just pretty much just took out the SIM card and now it's turning back on. But I didn't want to wait that long, all right? So now what you do is hit next, hit skip, or, you know yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and enter this and then you know we can go ahead and do that so just took care of that so hit connect wait for it to load and then now it says connected right so after that you're gonna need your computer for this part so make sure you know it's, it's running in the background like we did earlier hit hit back hit back all right there you go so now what we do from here is you gotta plug in your phone to the computer so let me go ahead and get my cord. Just got the cord, all right? Yeah, all right? Yeah, so now what you do is just plug it in the computer like, you know, normal. And then, you know, make sure, you know, if it doesn't pop up, have the drivers and everything taken care of. I'll leave the link in the description. Hit accept if that shows. So plug it in and then a pop-up should show in a second. So wait for that. There we go. So this is what I'm talking about. So, I mean, yeah, that'll pop up eventually too. So, go ahead and you're gonna we're gonna skip Galaxy Apps this time. So we'll get to Galaxy Apps later. You're gonna have to replug in your phone in a second. So after this, you go to okay Galaxy S4 just showed, but go to Chrome or Internet. No, go to Chrome since you know it's gonna be. You better follow me. You don't got even. You don't even gotta check that. Hit next. No thanks. Make sure. Make sure you do not hit add an account because that was screwed up. So now, okay, okay, ignore that. Just enter quick shortcut maker. All right. So it says right here, quick shortcut maker APK mirror. So do what I did. And that little pop-up that showed, just tap it away like I did. So hit that, hit the first link, and then scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, skip all that. All right, so now hit download. And then just wait for it to load. And then scroll down again, hit download APK. Hit download APK, wait for it to, you know, start downloading. I think a pop-up should show. If it doesn't, it'll just say start downloading, starting download. Hit OK. And now hit back a whole bunch of times. You only got to do that. So hit OK. When, you know, keep hitting back and then hit OK. All that. All right. So now what it's going to do is it's going to load up stuff. Actually, no. We're going to hit the back button. Keep in that back button. Unplug it. Replug it. And then wait for it. There we go. So this time you're going to hit Galaxy Apps. All right. So after you make it on this screen, just hit the Agree button and then wait for it to load up and then from here you just enter file explorer it doesn't matter what you enter so i just hit es file explorer you can hit any one of these but i'm gonna hit es file explorer i'm gonna go ahead and install it and then from here you need your samsung account for this so you either need to make one or you need to sign in otherwise you're not getting through this so Go ahead and make this, or go ahead and put this in. All right, so that's taken care of. Hit sign in. Just wait for the 200 gazillion years that's gonna load, and then, you know, it should load. So after this, just wait for it to load again. 
you know how you know this, uh, this goes so actually you can just uh, go ahead and hit install if it doesn't do anything probably have to hit it a couple times and then it should show so hit accept and download wait for it to download and there you go hit open you're gonna look for that APK we just downloaded in the internet so after that hit it like three times or so go to download hit that install and then settings hit unknown sources hit ok and then hit install and wait for that to install alright so just install now what do you do you hit open and then it's gonna load that so now what you do here is you go to Google and then just wait for it hit Google account manager and then I'm gonna press that back button but hit right here type email and password this one right here so you know I did a video on it already it's a uh, version 3 but right here just hit don't hit the edu one hit this one right here and then hit try and then up here there should be like a three dots on here and then you hit browser sign in and then you go from there but you know here I'm going to enter my password and then you know that because obviously I know the information already it's gonna say that oh well so after you know it goes go ahead and do that you actually you do hit sh I forgot to say you do enter your own information so uh hit back button hit the hit the back button already all right all right so after that you should go ahead and you're going to go to your settings and how are you going to do that you're going to actually go back into that app so I don't know why in the world I just closed it but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this so now that I'm back in the app I'm going to go ahead and go into applications and I'm going to search for settings so you should go ahead and do that too and then after it shows just hit here hit try and then go to accounts or just scroll down and then hit back up and reset hit factory data reset reset device delete all you should be good to go so after that you should be good to go so uh you, the phone's turning on now you could unplug it a while ago if you wanted to but you're gonna wait for it to start up and then it should be good from there you should be done already so just wait for it to low um i tried making this video a little shorter than how i used to make it because you know if you look at my previous videos they're like 20 hours long and then nobody wants to watch it that long i try so i try shortening it even though the process can be a little long so look at this we got our phone working that is awesome stuff that's the good stuff right there anyways thanks for watching please subscribe to james tech more videos hit that thumbs up buddy if you like this follow me on social media at it's jennings tech for this awesome thing right here it should be good if it doesn't uh check out the link in the description for you know other versions i have of trying to get past this thing it should help because it helps some other people who didn't this thing work because Google is so stubborn they can't even let it get through. Whatever. Alright, so let's skip everything. Bam! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. You got your phone working. That is great right there. That's the good stuff. Like I said, that's the good stuff right there because you past that stuff if you forgot your information or whatever the thing is i don't want to know you got it working that's the good stuff right there or or somebody ripped you off on ebay or something whatever it is you got it working hallelujah all right uh, that's something i never say but anyways thanks for watching please subscribe to jenks videos hit that thumbs up button if you like this follow me on social media at is jenks for instagram and twitter and i'll see you in the next one bye I can't snap for nothing. Wow.